Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is not a vlog or not a what I eat in a day. Can you believe it? Um, I actually wanted to do a video on what this year has in store for me and some goals I've got for the year. Um, I've written them down. Obviously, it is the middle of February, but I just wanted to be 100% sure on what I wanted to actually focus on this year before I started like posting about it and like really working towards it. I wanted to just start the year and then kind of like realise what I wanted to focus on first, if that makes sense. Plus, I had a really busy January, so... I'm kind of starting the year late. So I've written down some things that are like goals for me this year in this cool journal I've got. This journal is from Love and Do. It's spelled like that. I'll actually leave a link in the description. This one's called the Wellbeing Journal, but they do loads of other ones like Overthinker, Anxiety, um, Manifesting. But I've got the Wellbeing one and I'll just show you some of it. It's got like all the journaling rules right in private blah 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 and then it's got um a section for self-care ideas then it's got your goals you want your exercise tracker and then it's got like what you're grateful for it's really cool i actually love it and i've been sticking to it which is good i will leave a link in the description if you did want to look at it because i love obviously this isn't sponsored because <laughs> i've only got 170 subscribers so obviously it's not sponsored so I've got six goals because it gave me six boxes. So my first goal on my goals list is to keep on track with my college work. I'm doing a three year course of naturopathic nutrition and I'm in year three. And when I finish, I'll be getting a level six diploma for anyone who didn't know. Um, and I do actually want to do it as a job and practice as a nutritionist when I'm finished. In year two, I kind of like slipped off the bandwagon a little bit and I just wasn't doing great. So year three, I'm gonna really focus, get my head down and really prioritize college and make sure I keep up to date with all my work, have my assignments done on time, all of that stuff. And also this year, I need to bring in three clients to the clinic and just show my lecturers that I can actually take my own clients. So I'm gonna try and do that as early on as I can this year. So so if anyone has any health problems, it would be greatly appreciated if you could come into my college and be a client for me because I actually have to get assessed. So, so for example, if you have a regular period, you get migraines, IBS, or you just wanna focus on your health and just lose a bit of weight and just feel better. If you have skin issues, recurrent infections, or you just feel like you have low immunity, let me know and I can try and help you and I can book you in at my student clinic. But if not, no worries, but I do need three people. So I'm gonna try and do that as soon as possible in the year if I can, just to take it off the list, you know? And I'm just gonna keep on revising throughout the year so I feel confident when I'm finished and I'm ready to become a nutritionist. Yay! Also in this, also in this journal, it says what I need to do to achieve this. So for the college goal, I've said I'm going to do a little bit, one to two hours, five days of the week of college work, just a little bit of revision, a little bit of reading, only five days of the week, so not every day. Didn't want to be unreasonable. But yeah, I'm going to really try and stick to that and prioritise college this year. And my goal number two is to upload more regularly on YouTube because I did have a massive break. In the what I need to do to achieve this section, I've said to film more and make time to edit, which I was actually editing last week in my lunch break. So I have been making time. I'm gonna try and upload once a week or once a fortnight. Once a fortnight if I can't do once a week, but once a week is ideal. Just because I wanna start showing people what I actually do, especially with college and stuff. I think people think I'm just like healthy, but I'm actually studying nutrition and I want people to know that like, I do really take this seriously and it is gonna be my job when I finish college. So I just wanna show people what my life's all about and, and show people that it's not just a hobby, but I actually want to do it as a career and help other people with their health. I wanna do more videos talking about nutrition and stuff like that. And also showing people what I get up to in my life because I do prioritize my health and I am a very busy person. Some people make excuses like, oh, I'm too busy to be healthy, but I'm really busy and I still prioritize my health. So I want to show people that you can do it and I'll show some like tips and tricks and all sorts of videos like that. So I'm gonna try and upload more often on YouTube. My next goal is to waste less money. I didn't put like an exact number on this because 
I don't want to be boring. This is the problem. I don't want to be boring, but I need to stop being as generous and as spontaneous, I think, because sometimes I'm out and I'm like, oh, I'll buy it. I'll get it. Why do I do that? It's a waste. I should just say no. If I don't want to do it, I should just say no. But I just don't. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna waste less money. I'm gonna be less generous. And also I'm gonna try and like plan out my days more and plan out my weeks more. So if I've got something coming up that I need a bit of money for, I can like save it. So I'm ready for that, if that makes sense. That's gonna be my hardest goal, I think, because I literally do waste money so much. My goal number four is to upload more on Instagram and start making it more businessy. Like I said, I only have a year left of college and when I finish, I do wanna be a nutritionist and work for myself, hopefully. So I want to start making my Instagram a bit more businessy and show people what I'm actually studying and show people what I'm learning, make them more inclined to come and see me when I finish. Um, so yeah, that's it really. I'm gonna, hopefully I can post like a couple times a week on there. It doesn't take long to just make a post. I just wanna make my Instagram a bit more career focused, not just have a selfie, you know what I mean? But I know I need to start building a bit of an online business and making myself a bit more known on Instagram. My goal number five is to prioritize my relationships. I feel like last year I kind of just got a bit selfish and I was like, oh, if I don't wanna see that person, like I'm not going to. And I started like saying no more just because I was very busy and I was just, I just became a bit selfish to be honest which is good it's good to have your own time and it's good to say no but then you do want to prioritize your relationships in life like you need friends you need family and you should put them first and they might need you even if you don't need them they might need you so you should be there for people I don't, i'm saying you but i'm actually talking to myself i should be there for people more i just want to show people that like i am going to be there for them and i just want to prioritize my relationships a little bit more I feel like I kind of lost touch with a couple people last year. I'm gonna try and book some things like with my mom and with my friends and with James, just so we have lots of things to look forward to. My last goal, number six, is obviously to keep fit and keep running because sometimes I go like three weeks without running and then I hate it because when I start again, I'm really slow or I get really puffed out. So I wanna start going once a week at least for a run and go to the gym. Do whatever I fancy at the gym, I don't mind. Like it can be weights, it can be Pilates, it can be an inclined walk, whatever. I just need to make sure that I do keep fit. I've wrote down run when the weather is good because when it's sunny, there is nothing better than going for a run because it makes you feel so warm and I love that. When you finish a run and the sun is beating in, it feels like you're on holiday. I'm obsessed. I feel like I was talking very fast in this video, so sorry about that, but they are all my goals for this year and things that I hope to achieve in 2022. I can't believe it's 2022 already. What the heck? I'm so hyper today, seriously. I don't know what's going on. I might do a video next year, like reacting to these goals and see if I actually completed them or not. Oh, I just love this so much. It's so pretty. Thank you guys for watching and you guys can keep me accountable for trying to reach these goals, especially if you're my friend or my family in real life, because you can be like, Jazz, have you gone for a run this week? You know, so help me. Um, also, like I said, if anyone wants to come into my college, if you're dealing with any kind of health issue, then please message me because I desperately need three people to come in. So it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, everyone have a lovely day and rest of the week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Please like and subscribe.